Hi, this is Miranda from My Scrappy Life and welcome back to my channel. This is a process video for two parts. I am doing my Pink Fresh Studio that should have went up on last week Friday, but I'm using that collection. I had it ready to go. Storms were a brewing. You guys already know that from my last um, layout. And this is with um, Off the Board with Pineapple Papers where we do some type of thing off the board and through our Pinterest. And so I'll link that up here. I am using a layout inspiration that obviously I use. It is um, Vicki Booten's, one of Vicki Booten's design team. And it's got the loveliest um, collection and all of that. So you'll see that up there. The two photos I am going to use is of Asher. He got himself clipped in October and then this is how he came home because it was cold. So I thought that these would be perfect for me to use. I've already gessoed this. Now, um, Pink Fresh Studios papers is pretty thick. So I just did a clear because I am going to do a little bit of a wet medium on this so that I can um, essentially do some mixed media and be able to play with this collection. And the collection that I'm using is called Good Times. It is a autumn like collection that they came out with. And I have some papers, and this is about the embellishments that I got. So let's see what I can do. My stencils are from Vicki Booten. Um, I'm not sure which collections they're from from which, but um, I put them in as I get them with her collections. I always make sure that if I don't get their full collections, I always order the stencils for sure. So I am starting out with Speckled Egg. That is my bottom piece to this uh, mixed media portion. I am staying pretty close to what the layout is that's up in there in the corner. Um, I'm gonna stick to that square frame. So then I come in with this circled one and I am using Tangerine, the stencil butter from the Crafters Workshop and their dream. I don't have a lot of their stencil butters, but because I'm working on getting their collections, but they're a dream. They go on smooth, they clean up well, they don't leave like a color tone on your stencils, and that is something that I cannot stand when I use stencils. If I use stencils and my um, stencil starts to become a color, it drives me nuts because I feel like then I'm not cleaning my stuff. So then I had to wait till it's dry. Then I came in with this X's and O's and everywhere I do not have the tangerine stencil butter on my paper, that is where I'm putting then this one. So it does look like I'm covering it up, but I promise you I'm not. And that one is, I'm using the Nuva Glacier Paste. And that one is Winter White. I wanted it to come off just a little bit. And I do not do the middle. Oh, I love the way this looks. Now, I started to put this down thinking it was dry. Then I realized it wasn't. So then I had to wait some more. So I am putting my title on first. The reason being is, is that I want to make sure that it looks right. And at first I was going to do Favorite photo memories and I'm like wait a minute no that's not what I want so I stick with memories and then I realized that I had the alphas to this pink fresh studio collection and so then I bring those out and they match the color tones obviously because it's with their collection and with this word memories from color cast designs I do pull in the hearts from there as you can tell on my diamond sheets so that I can make sure that I can pull in these colors a little bit more and they work perfectly. The reason why I did my title first was because I wanted to make sure I had enough space for the word memories because it is a bigger acrylic piece. Then once I got that down, then I knew where I could place my photos and work on putting down my um, ephemera to it. Now I do do three colors. And you will see that I use all the three colors and then I mix it up because I wanted to. And the photos are, like I explained in the first part of this, the intro is Asher during either October or November. I think it was October where it was still, it was cool. So it, it might have been November, but October, November is still autumn anyway, so it really doesn't matter. 
Um, and then I do come in with the other collection or the other way, but then I turn it around. I put the green first, then the purple, then the blue. But the blue, it does not completely cover everything, and that's fine because I'm going to cover up the page, and you'll see how I do that. Um, make sure you go check out everybody that's linked down below that is playing along with um, Off the Board. It is almost July, and we all know that in July, she does, um, uh, Pineapple Papers Crystal does her 30 days or 31 days of Off the Board, and I am going to try to participate in every which way I possibly can, especially on my design teams. I'll find some type of layout to do, all of that to pull off my boards. Now, in the, in the um, layout that you see up above, she uses the blue like a line to run across the board. And that's why I'm trying to stick to the lines that I have on my striped paper. And then I am coming in with the embellishments of the florals, as you can see right there. And you will see how I pull those other little pieces together to pull this all like to pull it all up together. And I swear, gloss photos drive me nutty. And I ended up not realizing that when I ordered a lot of these photos that I'm working with right now, I did gloss instead of matte. So that is why you see that glare over my photo. But it's of my Asher, obviously. I'm getting close to being semi caught up with his, um, and which is nice as well and then that one I put down seize the day because I feel like you know he needs to seize the day because he he does not like getting himself cut groomed none of that sorts he at this time he hated it like they had to wear his butt out before he would you know actually allow him to do anything um but now that um he is three years old he's getting a little bit better but he's still he's he's a true schnauzer when I say he's a stubborn butt he's a stubborn butt so I am not going to place this down. I'm actually going to place my photos or my ephemera that I want to stick underneath because I'm propping this all up. Once I get these stuck down, then I'll go and stick down this photo. I just want to make sure they're in the right spots um, so that I'm not trying to lift up like glue or any of that sort because of this mixed media. And I clear gessoed this just to give it a little bit of a barrier even though I know I really didn't need to because Pink Fresh Studio paper is pretty thick. Um, so there is the side done or that side done. Now I'm going to finish up on the top here and then you'll see me come in with um, enamel dots and then I'll be done. Make sure that you like and subscribe to my channel if you're coming from somebody else. Welcome. I'm so glad to have you. I am working on 4,000 subscribers. I am almost to halfway there. I am almost to 3,500 um, subscribers, and I would love to have you as part of my YouTube family. I do upload between two to three times a week. I do collaborations like this, design teams, all of the fun stuff. Um, and I would love for you to hit that like and subscribe button. So this is how I'm pulling in the other color tones of my acrylic piece so that it's not just by itself. And I know on camera it may look like the colors um, quite not match, but they do. That blue that's in these um, in this kit is fantastic for it and it brings it out. So the top one is warm and cozy. The bottom one is seize the day and I feel like that matches up well. And then I come in with my enamel dots. I try to do um, glitters in three different spots and then um, the other colors, and then this fell off. This is why um, mixed media, some days you just have to re-glue. <laughs> so then I'm playing with all of the acrylic pieces to make sure they all stay. <laughs> and then I wanted something up on top because it just didn't match up right. So then this is where I went with the glitter so that there's those two spots. And you'll see me come in with my third here in just a little bit, I think. I do go back in and try to figure out what I want to put, and I'm right there and then that's where the third glitter comes in and then that is it the still shots are coming up oh lastly I forgot I did go in I wasn't going to do splatters and then I did anyway 
and it's the Vibes Glorious Days from Shimmers Paints. That is what you're seeing me round out with. The still shots are coming up. I hope that you guys are all staying safe. Have a wonderful day, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.